Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Oh dear. Hello, hello. Oh dear. And see, that's what happens when I get excited. I'm like, oh, there's people here. Let's go say hi. And, and I haven't actually finished setting everything up. How's it going? What's everyone up to? Using my new emotes. Now everyone can wave. And I'll be like, hi. How's it going? And then you can be like, oh my god. Is way too much. Just be like, ugh. Owning? Nope. Knight is core keeper. Core keeper. We are exploring. We're looking for drills. I am not going to attempt the boss because I am running out of mats. We need to find some octarine like crazy. Like crazy. Big puppy dog right over there. Just, you know, going, love me, love me, say that you love me. What is the time? No, refresh your page. Oh, did I forget the CK at the end? Yeah. Exploring and drilling, part five. Oh. oh. You know, I've done that before and no one said a darn thing. Traveling to Christianson to visit your sister and her kids. Have a lovely trip. Are you taking the train? Are you taking the bus? If you can find out where I live, by car, ooh. Find out where I can live, you can uh, come pet my dogs. Yeah, I know. You live all the way over there. Tyler says Oni. We're also waiting for Carol to come back. Once Carol gets here. If Carol gets here, you guys gotta let me know because Carol requested a snacky for the dogs that I didn't give to them because we didn't have snacky for the dogs on the webcam. So I have not I have not forgotten snack for the dogs. Just need back. Can I offer you a drink? Oh! Oh! Steph! What were you guys playing? I feel... I looked at what you were playing, but I didn't... How's it going? You were playing... It's not going to tell me. All right. There we go. We were playing The Witness. Oh, right. You were playing The Witness. And so I've tried playing The Witness before, and I cannot play it for more than like 50 minutes at a time because it gives me the biggest, the biggest motion sickness. Hey, Casual Sheepy. How's it going? Biggest biggest oh my it's like it's horrible absolutely horrible motion sickness like sitting at my computer getting a blinding headache like spinning in a circle can't keep my balance going Hur. i've tried i've tried so hard it just doesn't want to work with me cannot do it can't do it i've tried I, I love those little puzzle games as well, too, right? They're fantastic. But can't do it. New talent point in melee. Oh, baby. You finish the game now, but you're going to have to finish the final movie tomorrow. Oh, boy. Fun stuff. I tried for three hours uh, on Wednesday to try and kill the darn octopus, Omaroth. And uh, ran out of mats. And I uh, was incredibly frustrated. <laughs> I 
It's it's just a time thing. I just couldn't I couldn't stay it safe enough. There was one of them because I have the bed like really close to the boss, right? So every time I would die, the boss wouldn't actually reset. I think I died like five times one fight. It was amazing. And I was doing so well, and then it just got to a point where my bed ended up dying, and then I died, and it was just, yeah, it was just really rough. I think I've gotten them down to like 30% before. But at least you showed me how not to kill Omara, so it wasn't a total waste of time. I just, I like using, I don't want to use the boat. I don't want to do it. And I'm going to be stubborn about it, just like when I, um... Just like when I killed the, the, the hive mother. I wanted to bomb her. So we are going to be using the bridges and we're going to be shooting them. And we just need more patience and, and all that good stuff. Why Burb not doggy? Uh, Burb was, is giving me uh, a chance. I have a 4% chance to hit, to, on hit, to deal triple the amount of damage. And I have a 3% crit hit chance. Because the dog during the boss fight wasn't doing a gosh darn thing. The dog did not care. He wasn't attacking the tentacles. He wasn't attacking the boss when he was next to it. Like, it was actually really disappointing that the, the dog isn't doing anything. I thought the dog would do something. But nope. The bird doesn't attack. The bird doesn't attack. So that's unfortunate. But it buffs me. So that's why I swapped to the bird during the fight as well. I thought he was going to drop up the dirt and bounce. You have a lovely evening. The bird gives you a speed boost. Uh, yes, and its naturalness gives a 7.6 movement speed, 6.5% damage, 3% critical hit chance, and a 4% chance to, on hit to deal triple amount of damage in general. So, oh, wait. Oh, okay, so that's, oh, okay, that's my buffs. So we get 7.6 movement speed, period. Oh, Seriously, no. Seriously, you guys need fucking babysitters to get in the goddamn flame tower. I think this game reminds me, did you kill the tentacle boss? No, I did not kill the tentacle boss. Stupid squid didn't want to become sushi. Or barbecue. But we still have to kill him. But we need more materials first before we can. So it, today is going to be exploring, trying to find some more whatnots to be able to drill. Um, we have to grind out some of the purple uh, slimes. Not the red ones. We need the purple ones and the blue ones. And then we, we need to find some Octarine. Come here. Come here. Ah. You know, if the pets have a max amount of level and XP, then they can get. Uh, someone told me in stream last time that you can get all of the, the special abilities from the pets. So you want to prioritize what you want first, because it will take a while to level them up. But in the end, they should be able to get all of the skills. That's what I was told. I don't know if that's right. So if you want to know, like, an answer answer, you might be best to look it up yourself as well. And it's level 10-ish. Uh, mine's level 7. Yeah, mine's level 7. And she got three skills. I don't know about my dog. I can look at my dog. My dog has more.
Me and puppy dog. No, not that. This one? No. This one? Yes. Puppy dog is level 8. And has 4 skills. So I guess they get a skill every 2 levels. That would seem to make sense. Skill every 2 levels. <laughs> actually, I'm not even mad. That's amazing. All right, so Big Nanko wants an emote-only chat, so uh, spam those emotes. I have new emotes, so if you want to try them out, if you're subscribed, you got new emotes. So, ba bam ba bam bam Spare me those emotes. I have a wave. You can say hi to me, with me. <laughs> what else can we do? We can facepalm. This is, this is going to be, like, my, uh, hopefully, my, like, most used... <laughs> <laughs> it's probably gonna be mostly used by me. <laughs> I'm constantly talking to people and just they're talking. I'm just like, oh, face palm. Like when Tom tells like really, really, um, really, really bad dad jokes. Or when Supa says something really, really corny. Because we all know that happens. That's right. Dance, make the willow dance, make the willow dance. Dance, willow, dance. Dance till you're dead. Bow, 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 bow. I'm sorry, is that a baguette? A wee and a lull. A wee. I like saying no. <laughs> do you know? What do you say no about all the time, Gabe? Hmm? Are you an insane? All the time. They've done studies, you know. 60% <laughs> of the time, it works every time. <laughs> he doesn't love Paul Rudd. Oh, Gabe, you weren't here earlier. I was trying to I was trying to tell you. I started the Mandalorian. Started it. It is not terrible. I it's, it's not terrible. <laughs> I can't say that there's like anything like wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. But I feel like I like the feel of Andor better. Like it seemed a little bit more serious. Whereas Mandalorian kind of feels like a TV show. Not a bad TV show. It's just it just feels like it's a TV show. I do like how they kind of like did some nods to the original movies and how they were filmed. I thought that was cute. With like the zoom outs and the pan on the face and the cute little dramatic pauses and stuff. Like I, I appreciate that. I see it and I appreciate it. But I feel like it's a TV show. Whereas Andor feels like a story. Gosh, what are these emotes? Let's take a look at these. That's cute. Aww. Dots? Orbeez? I don't know what those mean. Very cute. That is a cursed Sonic the Hedgehog, oh my goodness. <laughs> Make it stop. Decorative pot. Oh, oh, I found some tin. Oh, that's handy. Oh, that is handy as heck. Oh, and some more copper. 
Oh. Candy as heck. Destroyed all this stuff here. Oh, my goodness, someone has someone has beaker. Oh, that's cute. You have a lot of a lot of emotes. Thank you for your emote only chat. We are back to normal. And we found two drillables, which is awesome. We found more copper. I already have one set up for copper, but we can we can do another one. Because this one's like closer to the base, which is always handy. Ooh, a ring. Hello, ring. Oh, the slimes and the maggots have been fighting. I like it. That's like the one good thing about if you made like a farm area for both things or all the things because they fight each other right it's fantastic just put all the different kinds of slimes next to each other next to like put the put a spawn location ish in the in the like caveling area and they'll just fight each other and then all of the the spoils will sit there waiting for you to just you know all the spoils will sit oh there was a chest i totally didn't even see the chest Nothing despawns, so I'll just wait for you to come pick it up. Perfect. Are these fences? No. What are what is in here? Okay. Okay. We're gonna pick up all this maggot stuff though, because I hate maggots. We are not letting them spawn here. We'll put those back in the um in the, the other area. Make them spawn next to all the slimes. Ha 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 ha. I could wait. For Mando, it's not amazing. It's a good TV show I would watch weekly, but season three is pretty cool. I never rewatch it. Something about it makes me never want to see the episodes more than once. It's a solid five out of seven. You miss watching Winx Club? Never watched it. Yeah, like, uh, it's not like an insta classic, right? It's a good TV show. But again, I feel like it's just kind of lacking in the storytelling. It feels like a TV show. And I just, I guess I anticipated a little bit more I mean it's serious but I anticipated maybe a little bit more serious Avatar the Last Airbender I watched Avatar the Last Airbender when I was an adult like they're on I think I can't remember if it was on Disney or Prime or Netflix I can't remember but I watched, I did not watch it as a child. I watched it as an adult. And it was a good TV show. I enjoyed it. A lot of people sing its praises and are like, oh my god, it's so amazing. I did this, this, and this. I'm just like, it's, it's like, it's a cartoon, guys. Like, it's still trying to reach the cartoon stuff. And everyone's like, oh my gosh, it deals with so many, like, adult themes and blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, but it's also a cartoon and sometimes, ang you know, annoyed the crap out of me because he's a child. And the whole, you know, if you just have a conversation with someone, half of this misunderstanding won't happen. I 
Are they expanding that universe? Korra was good. I enjoyed watching Korra. I feel like people read way too much into it than they should have, but I enjoyed watching Korra. I do praise it as a really good life lesson, especially Iroh as your favorite character. Yeah, but did you watch it as a child or did you watch it as an adult? Because I think that is completely different. Because my nephew is actually watching it. He's nine and my niece is six, I believe. And they're watching it as children. And they like it. But they're not going to remember the life lessons that are in it. They're not going to be like, oh, Uncle Iroh said this. Like, my nephew was Aang for Christmas or holiday or Halloween. That's the one. Because he likes the TV show. But he's not sitting there thinking, oh, hey. I watch it kind of both versus a child, but often like to watch it back even though you're 23. Iroh is your favorite character. Everyone wants Iroh as an uncle, right? That's the thing. Everyone wants an Iroh as an uncle. Yeah, it'll sit in their subconscious. You know, you're always influenced by things around you. Okay, we need to make... Yeah, we need that one. Iron bars, scarlet bars. Iron bars, scarlet bars. We need two generators. Iron and scarlet. I don't think we need octarine. Get the copper just in case. I don't know what else we need. I don't know if we need any wood or not. Two, three, four. Four drills. Two robot arms. We have a couple conveyor belts already. Fifteen. That should be good enough. And... Do we have any circuits? I can set it up so we don't need any circuits, but I'm always... I always mess it up. Oh, and then we need two of the, the things melters. One's copper and one's tin, right? So we just need regular ones. Copper one's tin. We just need some dirt walls. Oh, baby. No one knows they're developing good morales and life lessons until they go older. Uh, hundred percent. Yep. That's why learning from different countries or listening to life stories can have a big impact on people if you find the right ones. Yes. Yep. Let's put all my bars back so I don't die with all my bars on me. That would not be good. Oh, what am I doing? Go start the drilling process on those. Well, and everyone, everyone always says, too, you know, like, with your grandparents and stuff, you know, spend as much time as you possibly can because you never know when it's going to end. It's like, that's hard because you're not going to listen to it. Everyone's like, you never listen until it's too late. And it's like, of course, we're talking generally, right? There are those people who who do. We're not talking about those people. We're talking about the general populace. Always this and the drills, and then conveyor belts. Oh, I don't really need one right there, but okay. And then the arm that way, and it goes that way. 
There's always a chance that things going south gotten to the point of accepting that. Oh, yes. Yep. I don't know, I think traveling has always been a very good thing as well, too. Traveling with an open mind, though, because you can... Again, we're talking generalizing, right? You can, you can travel and not pick up anything. Like a lot of even smaller streamers are being sponsored by play to play v rising have you had an offer or try to reach out to the developers um no i haven't um through stream elements they always give you like hello fresh and that other one that clicker game that everyone's always being sponsored by here let me check real quick I haven't reached out to anyone to see if I've been sponsored. I've been offered free keys if I play for a certain amount of time and give a review of my of what I thought. I haven't gone into that too much just yet. You know, I I don't want people I, I don't want to I don't want to have streams. If I do something like that, it would be a completely separate stream outside my schedule because I don't want people who come to see me regularly, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, to see Court Keeper or during the week to see Oni to be subjugated to like a sponsored stream, right? Like you, you're, I feel like you guys are here to hang out with me and answer my questions for things like Oni or Court Keeper and like play together and relate experiences. And I'm not here to sell to you. I feel terrible because that's not what I'm trying to do. So I think if I did something like that, it would be a completely separate stream. Just be like, hey, I'm going to play. Um, it'll be like a special Sunday stream or something. And it's like, I'm going to play V Rising because I got it for free. And they want to know what I think. And, you know, join me if you want to watch it with me kind of thing. It's going to bug me, so I'm looking it up now. Shadow Legends. That's the one. Shadow Legends. I finally got big enough that Shadow Legends asked if I wanted a sponsored stream. God, no. Be yourself as the best you can be. If that isn't your style, then you should not be doing them. Oh, absolutely. Well, it's it's a hard line between, you know... Like, I am, I am doing it for the money. All of my money from streaming and stuff goes towards my dogs. They, their food, their treats, their all that good stuff. Can't exactly work in my country that I'm currently living in because I can't speak the language. I'm doing what I can to help out where I can. I'm just very lucky to have a very supportive husband as well. And let's be real, I'm going to be playing games anyway. Because I like playing games. As you can hear the clicky clacks of my husband next to me, also playing game. And mumbling to himself. <laughs> yeah, my friend was asking me about uh, V Rising as well. Because he played it and he like streamed it on Discord and we watched at the time. It was really cool. It was a while ago though. Like, like almost a year ago. And it was a really cool game, and he played the crap out of it for quite a few hours. And he really enjoyed it. And it looked like a really good game, but, you know, like, it was still in development, and I'm cheap, and never purchased it. But yeah, I've heard that it's really good, and it's gotten better. So he was actually asking if that was going to be a game that I play after Core Keeper or Oxygen Not Included. I 
I still need to make more bridges. Ooh, let's not forget that again. Can't live without bridges. Okay, we need to find Octarine. The big one. You can recommend. Right? It's a good game. It looks good, too. It looks good. Got both of them back up. You know what? Let's find try and find Octarine just on the beach. Maybe we'll have... Oh, you know what? Maybe we'll have Octarine over by that portal. We have food. We don't have any health pots, but that's okay. Maybe we'll find an Octarine. Now that we have the big hammer, we can smash through everything. Not going to the desert. That place was scary last time. Um, what are we talking about? Oh, V Rising. He asked if it was something that I was maybe going to play afterwards as well, too. Um, we were also talking about 439 hours playing and still ticking up as we speak. Just standing in the shade, living from your worst enemy, <laughs> hiding from your worst enemy, the sun. Evil. You are a vampire, right? It's a good game. It looks really good. It looks really fun. Uh, one of the other games that me and my friends played that I was considering as another game after Core Keeper, because I can also play it local co-op. Um, we can play Core Keeper local co-op and maybe like have a goal. It was like you know maybe kill all the bosses within a week. Like we f we blast through Core Keeper, or like we only play with daggers or something, and I host it and you guys join the game. Um, but where was I going? All right, I wanted my melee. Potions. Armor. Range. That's HP. I thought I had some food. I thought I had food somewhere. Maybe I'll put it up here. Oh, we can always grab more from the vending machine. Can I put it up here? Nope. Where is my movement speed? Critical hit. Knock back. Max HP. Mining damage. Oh yeah, cave crunch. Like a hundred coins each. That's okay. Um, the game. Another game we were thinking about was uh, Tribes of Midgard. Have you guys ever played Tribes of Midgard? Core Keeper and V Rising are very similar in the regard that you can have dedicated servers with mainly solo play, but co-op when needed. Yes. Well, it's always nice as well, too. It's kind of like Stardew Valley, right? Like, I can I can host and you can join me, but I can also not host on the world and be able to play with myself for a little bit. Which is what I was going to do when I was decorating so that time could pause. But then, you know, not sunny day decorated for me. <laughs> um, But... Like, with Core Keeper, like, I could just open this up to have people join me at any time and then close it up again kind of thing. Same with V-Rising. Um, Tribes of Midgard is really cool. It was a lot of fun. Um, you can play... They have different challenges. You can play with people. It's local, local hosting again. And it's, it's a really neat game. We would play it, we would blast through it and play it for like 16 hours a day, like all weekend kind of thing with my friends. No tribes of Midgard players? Nobody? Ugh.
I like how you can just like bam and be in a completely like open area and you're just like, oh hey, I didn't know this was here. Look, a little cave. You've been completely distracted uh, from Core Keeper, haven't you, Reps? Your project of decimating the world has been on pause. Oh no! <gasps> I thought I was okay, and then it pushed me, and now I'm debuffed. Rude! Oi, new icon. Yes, new icon, new emotes. New icon, new emotes, Leo Farm. The wonderful Gabe who loves bagels is an amazing, amazing person. Yes, that one. I said his name. See, the peak is perfect. Have a new a new wave. You can say hello. You can facepalm whenever I say something horrible. You can cry when I make bad things and oxygen not included. You can lurk. And you can laugh. They're very cute. I'm so excited about them. I love them. He was also behind the Huldra Barking one. So you, you gotta give Gabe to thank for Huldra Barking icon. How about you, Leofar? Have you played Tribes of Midgard before? We just need the blurp of, of Holdra explode barking. Played Tribes of Midgard. No? The people. How about V Rising? We were talking about V Rising earlier. I'm having any luck finding some octarine on this world. Well, at least on this island. I 
feel like I'm Minecraft strip mining right now. I'm running out of blackness. Just need an octarine. I didn't even bring anything. If even if I found one, I didn't bring anything. I still have to go home and like get a drill and all that. We found. Okay, so what do we have? We have a scarlet. We have two coppers and a tin now. We need to find an iron, a gold, octarine. Oh, and I have a galactite one, but I need to actually start drilling it. I gotta run over to my other world and grab all my, my drills from there. Because I think to make that furnace, it's a lot of expensive octarine, and that's kind of what I'm lacking right now, because as you can see, I can't find any octarine. <laughs> Ow, that was a hard hiccup. Is smacking. <gasps> it broke! No! Mm, strip mining. Pretty sure there isn't one in there. I could probably I could probably go without doing it. Tentacle. Okay. Mushroom. 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 Bad crab. Bad crab. Bad tentacle. <laughs> Can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Oh, I did that one. I opened that up. I was like, ooh, something shiny. No, I already opened it. Is there like a trick to finding the ores? I've seen them on the mini-maps. Is it right there? Is the one right here? No. I saw a little blue dot and I was like, oh my gosh, it's one on the minimap. I was just gonna say, I was like, I can see them on the minimap usually if I've like uncovered a portion of it or something. You can, you can kind of see them. You get one pixel that you know that you're, they're there. But, I mean, if you haven't really uncovered that one pixel, then you're still out of luck. I don't think they're around. This is a really big section of sparkles. I don't think they're around the sparkles necessarily. Like the ores doesn't really spawn near where you get a whole bunch. I know there's food you can you can eat as well too, where um, you'll get. No, that was a skill. You get more ores from a piece of wall. But after a while, you won't really be mining walls. You'll be mining them with the drills, so... Kind of silly. Kind of a waste of a skill. I'm 
starting to feel how lucky I was on my first map. Getting to find all those ores. Slimes this way. I see you, blue slimes. You know what? Let's take this and stick it closer. I'm gonna die. Well, oh no, why am I up here? I totally forgot to sleep. Oh no. Alright, well, let's just take these home since I'm here. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. That just happened. Well, I was going home. And now I'm going home faster. is kind of the way but not the way this is a better way <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh no Thanks for that. <laughs> I called it. I called it right beforehand. I knew it. I was like, yep, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Has anyone watched my, my channel trailer? Has anyone come to my channel when I'm not actually streaming? Or my YouTube channel when I'm not streaming and seen my channel trailer? It is the combined little clips of every single time I died. Yep. It's it's my infamous uh, dying in Stardew, clicking on my food, whatnot, getting killed by a dude. Um, it's jumping off of... Well, not even jumping, it's just, you know... Coming off of this, the second floor of my house in Valheim and insta dying because I only had 25 HP and I didn't realize. That's that's what my channel trailer is. That was a jump. It wasn't a jump. It wasn't a jump. It was just me going. Let's go to the first floor. Do do do. It wasn't a jump. I swear. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It wasn't a job. Oh, he's in his bed, so let's... There. Reset. Uh, we need to repair. And get rid of all the stuff in our inventory because I'm pretty sure my inventory is full over where we were. And let's pop back over. I'm a big dum dum. <gasps> what is this? What is it? Oh, maybe that's a bomb. Either a bomb, or it's an ore. I'm not sure. 
It wasn't a jump. No! You and your bubbles. Curse you and your bubbles. I don't know. Here, let me check if I can actually... Because it may be uploaded as a video and then choose it to be the channel. Uh, the channel thing. But I think you could just, like, watch it as well, too. Oh, yeah, you can. 82 people have watched it. There you go. It was totally not a jump. Totally not a jump. Let's get my dead body. My body lies over the ocean. My body lies over the sea. My body lies on this darn beach. Please bring back my body to me, Mr. Tentacles. It's always the tentacles. Oh, what? I have a sweep and I can't kill you with it. Okay, fine. If I don't break this down, I will always wonder whether or not there's an ore in here. So let's just quickly strip mine some more. Yeah, just like when I asked Valheim what tar was and it said a sticky glob of tar. Mm-hmm. Thanks, game. Thanks for trolling me. Okay. We were unsuccessful in locating some octarine on this island. But there is a giant giant thing right there. Massive. How's my... Oh, uh, I got space in my inventory. down some of these walls. I am at least going to get a decent amount of octarine from looking for octarine drilling locations. I also need a gold. An iron, a gold, and an octarine. That's what I need. Oh, that's right. I also just remembered something as well. Let's quickly save and exit. Doesn't really matter. Well, yeah, I can. Okay. We're going to quickly go back to the rusty nail and pick up our drill from the rainbow from the G spot. I really need it. It takes so many materials to make the, the thing. I'm not even using my mining gear. I specifically made mining gear and I'm not using it. No. <sighs> Where's my head at? I forgot about that. I forgot that I specifically did that last uh, last stream. Made the made the mining gear set so I can be smart, even though I wasn't smart and didn't do it. Oh, Leo Fire. Uh, because you, you noticed the smoke, 
I took a picture of dinner for you in the Discord so that you could see. You could see what was causing all the smoke. Bruh. Bruh. Thanks for following. It's. 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 It's Kai. See you. I'm not quite sure. I did my best. It's Cassio. So you gave, did you watch it again? It wasn't a jump. I just kind of, I just like, I tripped over the edge. <laughs> I tripped. I was dying. Whoops, I was dying. Okay, what armor am I wearing? Okay, okay. We're wearing the good armor because we're going to be in the desert. Do you play this game as well? It's pronounced like Casey Joe. Okay. So I was thinking to myself, I'm like, if I can't pronounce it, maybe I can just call him Casey. <laughs> and I wasn't sure if like the 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 I J O was like a h yeah sound or not. Languages are fun, right? Languages are fun. Come on. Come on, where's my oar? Come on, or let's go. Not many people get it right. Darn it. Darn it. Yeah, this baby. Oh, yeah. That's what I need. Need to find one of these guys. Oh, we found one of these guys in our other world. That's right. It. Casey Joe. Casey Joe. Casey Joe. That. I still feel like I'm butchering it. Making our way downtown, walking fast, faces past them all bound. Okay, you know, I'm gonna just save. Save an in here, that's fine. It looks like a jump. It's not a jump, Gabe. I didn't jump, I swear. Maybe I did. Maybe I did not miss remembering. 3 out of 10 would agree. <laughs> so you're saying the odds are stacked against me? Is that what you're saying? Alright, we should get this drill down and working. So while we're playing in this world, we're starting to, to get some of this galaxite ore. Very important. Need some of this galaxite ore, which is, I think, right there. Perfect. You can just call me Casey. Okay. AKA, yes, you butchered it, but now I'm going to be polite and tell you it's fine. <laughs> Do you play Core Keeper as well, Casey? How far are you? Did you kill the octopus? Because I did not. That octopus is going to. It will be barbecue one day. One day. Just not today. Bye! And catch me on the gingerbread man. Rude. Why are you blocking my way? Little caveling. How's work been today, Gabe? 
Did you get off already? Did you leave early? Were you like, see you later, it's a long weekend, no one's working anymore, let's just go. Because that's what I would have done. I was working as an accountant in the greenhouse. Everyone, everyone took the weekends off, the long weekends. Um, because no one wanted to pay extra for people working on a long weekend. And, uh, yeah, trying to do your job after, like, noon on a long weekend Friday. No one's working. No one's doing a gosh darn thing. Okay. We have... Drills. And a drill machine. Into a big fury forge. Oh, I have three drills. Ooh. Okay, we can do three drills. Fury Forge right here. Exactly. Exactly. Let's get three of those puppies going. You just started yesterday. It's your current obsession, though. You're on Stardew Break. I'm not very far yet. You're calling it in 15? 10 p.m. Just after 2, right? Yeah, I totally call it. Totally. Just be like, yeah. No one's working. Can't get anything done. No one's answering my emails. No one's answering my Zoom calls. Let's all just go home. Portent? Gosh darn it. Oh, right. You're right. Right. You're not eight hours. I always default to eight. Yeah, I totally call it in ten minutes then. Boop, boop, boop. Excellent. Look, it's working. First try. Nah, nah, nah. First try. Um, yeah, I did a 100% run on Stardew as well, too. Took about three and a half months. That was a lot of Stardew that I was not expecting. That was a lot of Stardew. I didn't know what I was getting myself into by doing a 100% achievement run in Stardew. But we got there in the end. Oh, I should have left those there. We got there in the end, we completed it, and it was amazing. Not Berta, she grinds for the bill, the golden cock tower. I don't know what that is, Gabe, but I have an idea through context. My, my. Ooh, ooh red spot. What? Well, you said cock tower. <laughs> the golden cock tower, so, you know. Um, also... Uh, Casey, ha did you start it before the update? Or did you start it after the update and you get all the lovely good stuff? You were grinding those caves? Oh, okay. <laughs> da -da -da, da -da -da. Exactly. Oh, it was bombs. Go, bombs, go. That was unimpressive. I was grinding those caves. Oh, for the golden clock tower. Okay. 
I, I get it now, okay. I thought you were talking about work. <laughs> uh, I thought you were talking about work. Yeah, try and break those walls, Caveling. Come at me. Come at me, jerks. Come at me. I dare you. I'm gonna smash all your stuff. That's how mean I am. You started after the update? Okay, good. Good. That's Stardew. Yes, I thought you were talking about something other than Stardew. <laughs> now, you big jerk. That was rude. Now I'm on fire. <gasps> I found gold! I found gold! Yes! Stop shooting fire at me, gosh darn it. And we found... Oh yeah, oh yeah, bomb it up. Bomb it up! Bam, 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 bam. Oh, also disappointing. Come on, where are my big bombs? Where are my big bombs at? Ooh, a ring. Well, I definitely don't need my gravestone to remind me how many times that I've died. Thank you. Oh, yeah. This is pretty big. Decent. Oh, I can't. Okay, there's water. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. No! This, oh, we found a jackpot. We found a gold and an iron. I think the only thing we'll need now is an octarine, and then we'll be set. And oh, oh, I can pick up so many of these at once. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. I love this hammer. Okay. Get reminded, Widow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you tell me you didn't hear it too? I bet you dollars to donuts you did. After I pointed it out, you were like, yep. I said it like that. You know, the funny thing is, I often say things not with the intention of how people take them. And yet, I take everything that way. It's a curse. It's a blessing and a curse. trying really hard not to like break the bridge I just want yep I already broke it okay there we go just one of the tracks but I broke the bridge too okay I don't need the wood I don't need these two root seeds I can use that bread though sand wall oh baby mm -mm, bread doesn't love me some bread. Right? Gluten free people. That's who. That's who. Time to go. Okay. And I need to pick up all this stuff so that stupid cavelings don't spawn near my drills like big meanies. 
Hey, hey. Don't scare the bug. I'm pretty sure that's the stuff that spawns them. I already have a rock ring. It was so funny when the first time you put on the rock ring and it says uh, rock and stone achievement. God, that was funny. <gasps> what is that? Oh, I thought there was like... Oh, it must have been a Karak. I thought there was something else cool that I have never seen before, but it must have been a carrot. Whoops. It wasn't anything exciting. Okay, we found right here. We found a gold. And then where was that iron that we found? Oh, no, the iron's No, the gold's here. Where's the iron? Gotta go back the way we came, right? Because it's not, not this way. No, we just cleared this out for the... Oh, it was here. Okay. Sometimes they're hard to see. Look at that. Look at that. That's the iron. Sometimes it's hard to see on the little pixels. Now that they're cleared out. Time to try and get home without dying. What? Let's just... We're gonna have to run back here to pick up all of our stuff anyway, so... Let's just... Clear a path. Because we have a giant hammer. That's what you do with giant hammers, right? Swing it around. Someone was also saying in... Uh, oh, oh! Hello! That was a decent one. Look at you! That was a decent one. Someone was also saying that there's like a... A big... Um... Like, uh... I don't know. I don't know how to call it. Uh, it's not a castle interior, but like there's a mansion or, or something cool to find. In the stone area? I have never found something like that before. What was that? I don't need a bunch of stone walls. What's that? <gasps> I found the Valheim Meadows sound! Okay. Oh, wait, no. We already have this one. I want the Stardew Valley one. Throne room. That's... Thank you, reps. Yes, the throne room. I've never seen a throne room before. Have you found a throne room? You can't wait to start finding cool stuff. Man, after this update as well, too. I played for about 30 hours before the update, and then I played for... I I made a new map on the new after the update because I, I found that I just wasn't finding anything. I played three hours and I didn't find any of the new cool stuff. Um, so I started a new map and transferred all my stuff over. Best decision ever. Because now I find cool stuff all the time. I, I dodged. I love that stuff never expires on the ground as well, too. So even though I'm killing stuff and they're dropping things and I don't have room in my inventory, I can just come and pick it up some other time. It's not a big deal. I like how the game doesn't try too hard to punish you. Like, it doesn't make it difficult. Farming is easy. Um, farming is easy. Grinding is easy. Killing is, you know, easy. Like, there's there's tough mechanics to the game. But it's not like, hey, we're going to make farming a ridiculously hard thing to do and surviving in general is just going to be, like, tough. I'm glad that the game isn't like that. Okay. 
you can just like explore and enjoy the game. And it's a heck of a lot of fun. Money, 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 money. If you don't want spoilers though, please do let me know and I will try to keep my mouth shut. I mean, you're watching the stream, so you're going to end up seeing stuff that you're not at yet, but you know, in general. Hello, sir. That too. And this bubble gun. You know, the torches. I don't really care about the torches either. Enjoy. Yes, I've obviously found the throne room since you mined everything, but it's relatively small size and a big area around 400 distant. Out of my spoilers, I'm hoping to learn stuff. Excellent. Excellent. The first thing that you should know is make sure that you know that there is a quick stack and there is an auto sort button. It is life changing and amazing and I'm so glad that they put it in here. And I'm assuming that you also know that um, each of the materials... Each of the benches pull from the boxes next to it, so organize a, a, a thing for yourself in a way that makes sense to touch all the boxes so that you can you can easily get those done without having to bring your materials into your hands every single time. And the, uh, the quick stack button as well too is Q. So when you go into a chest, you go to a chest and you have like a whole bunch of stuff all you have to do is push Q I'll make these stacks them amazing oh that's where they were those cave crunches I found you can't hide from me and the bombs that's where they were Obviously found the throne. Okay, sorry, what? Okay, okay, sorry, what? Reps. Literally, if you're apologizing for about the throne room, that's literally what I was asking about. Something about a throne room in the stone biome? And apparently it's really small, but I want to find one. Hey! Rude slime. What are you doing in here? This is going to be a major time saver. <laughs> I love it. It's just like what, like, you've played Stardew, right? They don't have the... The quick stack. Like, the quick stack, why isn't it standard in every single game? I don't know, but it should be. It 100% should be. Quick stacking, pulling from inventory chests, even if it's not a radius, even if it's just what's touching it. I mean, who wants to remember all these recipes anyway? Ooh, this cracked egg. We got a new pet. We got a new pet. We got a new pet. Okay. Ember tail. Burn damage applied on hit. Spontaneous and impulsive in nature. This pet is as fierce in battle as it is at clawing at furniture, but also incredibly cuddly. That's pretty cool. What kind of what kind of stuff do you have? You have asserting dominance, damage against bosses, <gasps> and a glow, and a glow, and the burn on hit. Chance to consume target's burning effect and deal the total burning damage immediately. Chance on hit to consume target's burning effect and deal the total burning damage immediately. Okay. 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 And 15% against bosses again. <sighs> Hello, Mr. Mycelium. That cat. I think I'm going to start leveling up that cat. That looks like a pretty cool cat. I mean, I have a 4% chance of hitting triple the amount of damage, which is awesome, but, you know, just straight up extra damage per boss. I'm gonna go with a yeah. I'm gonna go with a yeah. Okay, and you know what? This one's name is gonna be Speed, because Speed is, a uh, yeah. That's what Speed is. Damaged bosses. I got that from him. This curious egg. Oh, by the way, has anyone noticed? Every single type of pet that you get, like, they get, the Owluxes have the 7.6 movement speed and the 6.5% damage, period. But every single one that you get will have a different 
set up for the skills. Some of them have different skills. You can get you can get ones with different kinds of skills in it. Like this one has um, three percent range for attack speed. My other birds don't. Um, this one has ten percent crit hit damage. My other bird doesn't. So you can get different animals with different skills. We love kitty. Kitty is kind of liking it. Good job, speed. Yeah, I'm gonna keep leveling you up. Okay, I have a dead body somewhere. My body lies over. My body lies over the sea. Where is my dead body? Bring back my dead body to me, to me. Oh, we need to set up drilling for those two. But I had a dead body. I totally did. I totally have a dead body down here, don't I? No. I came back. Okay. Drilling. We need to do more drilling. Boop, 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 boop. One, two, three, four. We have a couple, but I need more. And we need some generators. Which one's the generators from? I always forget. This one? Okay. I don't know that, and I think I'm going to farm burbs for the movements. For a movement speed burb. Well, all the birds... Um, always give you 7.6 movement speed and 6.5% damage. Like, that's that's what they give you. But you'll get a different... Here. This burb. This burb gets you, like, plume powder, plume power, flock together, and plume power. Right? This bird will actually give you not that. Um... Yeah, see, this one only has one of the 2% chances to hit to deal triple the amount of damage. This guy has two. And the bird that I was leveling up, also, it had three. So I can choose three and have 6% chance to deal triple the amount of damage. So you have an avian run skill that gives an extra 5% movement speed. What? Avian run. Flock together? No, that's... Axe speed. Axe speed. Crit hit chance. Melee. Hey, you can just you can just fly then. I don't think I have a bird with that. Oh, buffs owner with five percent movement speed. I got three of them on this bird, so I can have I can have fifteen percent movement speed. <laughs> Da, 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 da. <laughs> it does nothing else, <laughs> but yeah, I can get 6% crit damage. But yeah, that was pretty cool. After I got like a whole bunch of birds, I was looking at them all and I'm like, oh, hey, they have the same, like, they have a, a set skill pool, but every bird has a chance for different things, which is handy. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, three, oh, and smelters. One smelter for gold and one smelter for not gold. I need some dirt walls again. Beautiful. 15% movement speed. Plus the basic 6.7% that it would normally get. Also handy. Okay, we are trying to get to over here. That's where we're going. We can set up these drills and then we still gotta look for the octarine one. 
The Octarine one is the one holding me back right now. I can't summon the boss over and over again if I don't have that Octarine. Because we know I'm going to have to summon it. Summon it. Summon it more often. We all know that. I only noticed you can get pets in different colors. Yep. Pets in different colors and they get different pools. Pools of skills. Is it... Not that way. It's coming up. Hello, walls. Hello, bugs. Yeah. Ooh, more bugs. More bugs. So many bugs. Cavelings, I see you. I see those eyeballs. Oh, there's a big troll up there, too. A jerk. All right. Drill. Love it when I set it up correctly the first time. Feels so good. Oh, oh, hello. Hello. Now to get some gold. Generator. No. This part. Oh, oh, okay. Excuse me, Mr. Kitty Cat. is just watching me. I see you, Mr. Bug. I always sit here and watch and make sure that it's going into the kiln. <laughs> Worst thing. Last thing I want to do is, like, come back here and be like, it hasn't been hasn't been doing a darn thing and I'm going to have a stack of a whole bunch of ore and it's going to take, like, three hours to to melt down all the ore that I've slowly stacked up and it hasn't done anything with. Come on, drills, go. This bug is just in the way. You can't go that way, Mr. Bug. I like saying <gasps> no. <laughs> oh! Oh, it like shoots from its tail! Well, okay. <laughs> useful and not useful. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go! Boop, excellent. Well, well, well. How's it going, Kara? Y you know what I say to that? I say, hi! How's it going? 
<laughs> exactly. Speak my language. Come on, come on, shoot him. Shoot him, kitty cat. Ooh! I'm giving you a chance. Do it. Oh, oh, okay. I'm on fire. Shoot him. 31. 29. 30. 35. Go, kitty cat. Go. You got this. Keep going. Excellent. Good job. They get much more powerful as you level. Oh, yeah. Willow 159. <laughs> Willow 159. Willow Wiggle 159. Wiggle 1. Willow 159. Exactly. Also, killing bosses when you have pets out. Woof. Amazing. Oh, who was I watching? I was watching some of the other day, and they were summoning the boss over and over again because their feather that they got for their offhand, they didn't like it. They were like, there's a better one out there. So they were just summoning the bird boss over and over again. And I was like, what? I didn't want to summon the bosses again because I was like, A, why would I want to? And B, why would I want to? But if you can get like a better offhand feather, then okay, I can see why you would want to re-summon the bosses over and over again. Hey Grabs, how's it going? You, you know what I have to say to your hello? I see. Ah. Prince playing a new game. It's uh I think he's slightly mad at it. I see eyeballs. Hello, eyeballs! <gasps> More! Oh my gosh. Amazing. Fantastic. Grabs, I was talking about Tribes of Midgard. No one here has played Tribes of Midgard. I was telling them all that they should try it out. It's really good. It's a lot of fun. Ooh. Broke the floor. I'm sorry, Mr. Bug. You were just collateral damage. I didn't try to hurt you. You were just there. You should have moved. You see me coming with my big hammer. Okay. Okay, we found another one here. Fantastic was amazing game i don't know how it is now um well they've added some stuff to it so i can only assume it would be better right i can only hope it would be better why would they add things to the game that make it crap right don't act like you're not impressed <laughs> exactly. I love I love the bombs in the walls. <laughs> You're stuck on a little island, aren't ya? Are you? Are you doing okay there? Do you need a rescue, sir? I will rescue if you promise not to hit me with a fireball. Nope, you don't get rescued. You had one chance. 
equal an opportunity. I love my, my my cat is still throwing fireballs at it from its tail. It's just like, yeah, take that, you jerk. I think I found a house. Did found a house. Oh, I've been here before. Have I been to this house before? Yeah, I think so, because it's all decimated. <laughs> Are you an insane? Absolutely. I'm ruining the cavelings' houses, pillaging their their villages for for valuables. How's it going, Theodore? We still have to find one more thing. We'll have to find an octarine. Oh my gosh, we found another one! Look at it! <gasps> Easy. Going good, excellent. How's the Minecraft? Oh, that's what I was going to do. I forgot. I'm going to put... I'm going to put a whole bunch of... Because, okay. So, north of me, there's just like a massive area for cavelings. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a whole bunch of different slime um, uh, things. Like spawners. All the slime gunk. Down there. Or up there, sorry. That way they fight each other. It's going to spawn slimes, and they're just going to get into trouble with the cavelings constantly. And then I can just run around that area and pick it all up. Because the slaves are not going to win. Slaves. The slimes are not going to win. The cavelings are going to win. 100%. Just like they're winning down here. Look at that. Just one little caveling is right down here, killing all the slimes. And maybe the giant one, but you know. We're not going to talk about it. Good plan. It's called Slime Ground. Yes. What did I call it? Did I call it something stupid? Because I've done that before. Gunk? <laughs> What's wrong with calling it Slime Gunk? It is Slime Gunk. <laughs> It's slime gunk. They just leave a little bit of themselves on the ground when they, you know, when they, when they go by. Kind of like a snail. I love that the dudes from other biomes kill each other. I think that's great. Wait, Cavelink, excuse- What the? Well, that was rude. This was all my music. I know. I swear there was more stuff in here. Oh, this one. I think my potions were in here too, weren't they? That's okay, I can put my potions in here. Okay, we got we got acid ground slimes. I don't think those summon anything. We got two poison ground slimes. But we got 155 slippery guys. And 
we'll put in some normal slimes because why the heck not? I don't know if you need it in any sort of particular order or how much you need for it to start spawning. I'm assuming you just need like a handful of them. all my gear because I don't need it here 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 valuable got lots of enrage potions gunk good gunk I love the recall idols I think they're great they're great Any Tony the Tiger fans? Yeah. Yeah. Ouch. Let's go make a spawning, spawning pit, a death squad. Yeah. No! No, little buddy. You need to stay over there. Don't come out of the lovely area. That's your home. There's just nastiness everywhere else. Stay in the meadows. Gonna jump into burrito mode early. Train drive tomorrow. You have a lovely evening, uh, Grabs. Sleep well. Enjoy the burrito. Boy. <laughs> That's right. Cat's taking care of you. I like how they're affected by the slime, too. Where, where do I come up? I don't want to put slime where I come up. Rude. Rude. I'll take bread. Oh, a blue one already spawned. Heck yeah. Oh, okay, good to know. He doesn't he doesn't make the um He doesn't make the ground come up. That was good. I think my pets can't die. Oh, I hate the debuff. There we go. Ha ha ha! You can't get me! Awesome. Now they'll just fight here forever! It'd be pretty cool. You could, you could, if you wanted to like deal with the risk, you could do this along like your straight bits and then you can go, woo! I guess that doesn't really make you too fast. Never mind. It doesn't really make you much faster. Difficult to get a step. Oh. oh! Whoops. Look. I didn't even notice that the ground was shaking and we had an earthquake. I'll take all those extra copper ores. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh. Hello, slimes. What's going on? I was just going to come pick up the little ores that we had here, but you know. Heck yeah. Oh, 
Bomb. Oh, that was it. Okay. I do love exploring in this game. Like, there's so much cool stuff. I got a geode. I just got a geode. It's almost like Stardew Valley. I'm going to close this up, though. No cavelings coming in here. Do love the music in this area. Some pretty great music. One little cow. Go home, little cow. Stop following me. Stay in there. It's safe in there. I'll bring you out sometime. I'll lure you to my, my house. One day. I just had a thought. We actually haven't put down a place to like grow some mushrooms. See if we can actually grow some mushrooms. That'd be pretty cool, right? Slime gunk. Slime gunk's a good name for them. I like slime gunk. I like how the thing is watching me too. Like, it's just watching my progress, judging me. Half a rock with a beautiful crystal inside. That's what a geode is. Let's sell all of our extra stuff to this man right here. Because we don't want any of it. Uh, money. Money goes down here in our clamshells. Um, okay, we found two more, so let's, let's make some more for those two other drills. And then we gotta go find the octarine. And we need two generators. <coughs> Two drills, two. Da, 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 da. Oh, and what we need to cook it. Uh, we found tin, tin and iron, right? So they should just be the normal smelters. We're gonna need some dirt walls. Remember that one this time. Also, if Carol's here, I need Carol to make himself known. Guys. Dirt walls. I need more dirt walls. It's 20 each, not 10 each. Ugh. Take all. Go. Go set up more drills. And then we gotta head back to the beach. We spent like we uncovered one island at the beach and we didn't uncover a a octarine deposit. But we went exploring for like five seconds, got distracted, ran around a little bit, and found a whole bunch. What's up with that? Hmm? What is up with that? Okay, so we went there already. We have to go here. Did I forget to mark them down as well? This is the big area with the, the cavelings. Am 
Well, someone is making stinky parts. I found two. Maybe I guess I just found one. But I can hold the stuff in my inventory. That's fine. I'm sorry. Did one of those cablings just go at me? They did. Do you need a tissue? He needs a tissue. This way. Ooh, ooh. Hello. Hello, sparklies. Okay. Why is tin so hard to find? Yep. Exactly. That's why you want to find an ore and start drilling. Where are we going? Get rid of this floor so they don't spawn near my stuff. Oh, tin is hard to find, especially when you start exploring into other areas and you're like, I don't want to hang out in these low leveled areas anymore. And then you're like, but I really need tin. But you don't want to be there anymore. But you need the tin. But you don't want to be there. There's so many other cool stuff. That's that's the problem that I have. Okay. Well, I think I got this down pat now. And boop! easy okay we picked that one up now we have stuff on both of those we have stuff on our our other one we got stuff up here and we have so many up here I have to go back to the beach we must go back to the beach and we must find another octarine that is imperative Or my inventory. Why is tin so hard to find? I believe I asked myself exactly the same thing when I first started playing. I was like, where's all the tin? You can't, you can't. You can't go further without finding, like, enough tin. That's a lone little bug. I'm gonna leave him in there. He's safe in there. Uh, look in- look at this. I'm in the caves and like the sandy area. Sand and caves. And I just found a bunch of tin. Sand and caves. I have a question about the throne room reps you have you found a throne room or you haven't found a throne room are throne ro rooms found like because you know how that area that i have of the stone is like massive if 
is it like the bigger the area of the cavelings, the more chance that a throne room is going to be there? Or is it just completely random and it's just somewhere in the stone biome? Oh, we found mushrooms. Oh, right. It also spawns those things. That's okay. My base just isn't safe. You're still quite away from away from drills. Drills are um, scarlet, I believe. Yes, drills are scarlet. <laughs> You're not too far. It should be like the next area that you go to. That's when you get drills. Big open areas are not related to the throne room. A throne room is a unique site you get one in every world. One in every world. Well, that's daunting. Only one. Oh, also, um, Casey, I don't know if you spawned with the dude who can make um, torches. Like, I don't know. I think it's the explorer. I don't know if you spawned with the explorer or not, but... If you have a torch in your inventory and you want to, instead of like holding your torch and like scrolling over to it so that you're holding it while you're running around, what you can do is if you hold down your shift button, your left shift, it will automatically put it in your hand and when you let go, it'll put the torch back. So you don't have to like swap. Nope, I sticky keyed it. Whoops. Don't sticky key. That's a tippy tip. Tippy tip for you. Okay, back to reality. No, we're going back to the desert. Not the desert, the beach. The opposite of the desert. We're going to the beach. Beach time, I think we'll explore here. If I don't find an octarine next to where I place the portal. I'm just moving my portal. Oh, my... <laughs> That's almost out of durability. Good thing I saw that before I actually, like, set up for the day. I would have gotten, like, three or four walls in and it would have been like, I'm dead. You did spawn it as an explorer? Nice. Me too. Because I was like, Ugh. some of the... Some of the abilities, I was like, I feel like I'm going to skill into that. So, like, starting off with a plus three for something or other didn't really feel worth it. I was like, eh, I feel like I'm going to get that. And sure enough, you do. You get it pretty quickly. Like the miner starting off with three extra skills in mining. I was like, eh, I'm really glad I didn't pick the miner because man alive, you got those three skills really quickly. So yeah, if you just make yourself a torch, you can just hold your torch. And then you can just let go. It's handy. And uh, I've watched other people stream as well, too, and they, they put torches everywhere. They don't have... Well, before the update, you had to choose whether or not you wanted an orb lantern or not. And it's like, you can't... Oh, I just lagged. That was weird. You can't choose... You can't have more than one bag in your hand. You can only have one. You can't stack up your bags. And I see people um, not playing with an orb. Uh, a light orb? And they just, they put torches everywhere. And I'm just like, oh god. Nope. Torches for me, thanks. Have you killed any bosses yet? Oh, I forgot to bring my my bars. Only the the slime one. Yep.
when you get further into the game and you're starting to kill like the other bosses, you'll have to tell me how you did it. Because I killed one of the bosses in a very silly way. I didn't cheese it. You can cheese it. Totally valid. Not a problem. But I totally did not cheese it and it's... Hi! People kept being like, why are you doing it that way? And I'm like, because I wanna. And then I very, very mule-headedly, stubbornly kept doing it that way until I killed her. Okay, this is like, yep, really big. Wait, what? Is there something else that can go in the lantern slot? Um... Before the update, it was different. Uh, you're offhand. Before the update, you can choose your a different offhand. But now they have an actual offhand slot. No, he just burst through the door, but he didn't come into the living room for some reason. Oh, I told him. I told him. Uh, I'm here. Oh. By the way, the beach is treacherous when you finally get here. Oh my god, seriously? I dodged. Rude. No, oh, wrong weapon. Big mini game. Yeah, you used to you have to choose your offhand before. And that was really annoying. Which is why I don't run around with the feather and I ran around with the shield. I like glowing. I am just gonna strip mine this until I find an octarine. Gosh darn it. I don't think there's one. No, go Ned. Go Ned. Thank you. Is it raining outside? Is it just moist? Oh, that's a good. Yeah, that's a good chewy. That's a good chewy. Yeah. She was sharing her chewy with me. Yeah. How's it going? Hey, what you doing? You know, you're supposed to be on the couch so everyone can watch you sleep. Yeah. You're supposed to be on the couch. Hi, that's a cardboard. Yeah. Right, we went that way. Oop. Helps if you have your fingers on the right parts of the keyboard. Yep, that's right. Shoot him. Shoot him, kitty cat. Oop, don't go into the bubble. The bubble is what hurts. Went this way and then we stopped. This is more beach. Get him, kitty cat. It is the best. Oh my god, we found one! We found one. 
We finally found one. Will be the thing that saves me. Oh, rude. Is it dead yet? Did you kill it? No, you didn't. Now there's more. Come on, cat. Let's go. Oh. You're not gonna try and fight it? Come on. Right, let's put up some walls. stabbed. I don't want to get stabbed when I'm coming to pick this up. Oh no, I have the wrong one! Oh no, I have the wrong- Oh man. I got the wrong furnace. I need the other furnace. For Octarine. Well, shoobadoo. Okay. We'll just- we'll drill it for now. Drill it for now, and we'll come back. It's not too far away from the portal, that's okay. I'm okay with that distance away from the portal. Shouldn't be too treacherous. Ugh, bubble gum. <laughs> Shouldn't be too treacherous. I say that now, of course. Octarine. We found the Octarine. Now we need these. Oh, I'm so happy that we found one. Now I can summon that stupid octopus boss every single day. No problemo. I was actually, I just had a thought, and I'm like, you know what? I could probably summon it now, and then I could, act, you know, I don't feel bad about using all of, using up all of the materials. But, but, I don't have, oh, I didn't mean to throw it on the ground. I kind of want that. Thank you. Um, but, the problem is, I have no health pots, because that's why we are grinding up this, uh, this stream. Because we have no health pots. We don't have any of the good slime. Um, I need the purple slime to make good health pots. And I only put two of the little purple slime thingies down in that area because that's all I had. Because we haven't found very much purple slime. I found a lot of blue slime. I'm like, bug bites all over my legs. Hey, Mr. Krabs. Rude. Another crab. And another crab. All the crabbies. Is this gonna be like a whole crab thing now? Beautiful. A crab spawner over here. An intentional crab spawner. You know what? Do pets die because 
This pet is eating up like all these bubbles and doesn't look like it's affecting her at all. So that's awesome. If she can just go and like hit the bubbles to pop them all, that's fantastic. Just keep doing that. Nope. Podra poner. I'll give you a pet. They're both more me. You're too big for that. You're not a little puppy anymore. Yeah. Go. We're taking the portal. Oh, don't you. Oof, oof. Don't you. Oof, oof. Smells the deers in the woods. We were trying to have dinner outside today and she was, she had her hackles up and she was boofing at something in the forest. It was, it was not. Not was on the edge of the property just hanging out. And she was like, must protect, must protect. Like, okay, puppy. Okay, puppy. Wow, this is good. And I tried telling her that it was just not on the forest. And uh, she wasn't listening. She wasn't having it. She didn't believe me. She was like, nope. Nope, there is something there. <gasps> I found another egg! We found another egg. Let's hatch this egg and see what we get. I know what we'll get, but, you know, we will be. Yes, my puppy. Yes, my big goofball. May I help you? Hmm? May I help you? What's going on? Yeah. You just you just sniffed my arm and you went. <laughs> well, I say. <laughs> You too. I bring these health potions with me just in case. You never know when you're gonna need them. Okay, do you need a pet? Huh? Do you need a... Do you need a pet pet? We could sleep in the bed as well too to get some of our HP back. Okay. Oh, why? I have too much of it left. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh, I got some of the fancy food as a treat. Can't. It smells like dog food. Okay, we found the octarine. Now we need to find slime. Oh, right. We should probably spend our points. 50% damage against bosses. Bam! 30% burn applied on hit. 50% chance on hit to consume target's burning effect and deal the total burning damage immediately. Mm, let's go with that one. There we go. Do, 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 do. Okay, now we need to keep looking for the slimers. And just to double check... We need, not that one, this. We need, I'm pretty sure it's purple slime. Yeah, we need purple slime. Purple slime. Chocolate rain. I think there's some purple slime here. There's blue slime there. Blue slime there. A little bit of purple slime again. God, purple slime is like in such small amounts. Every purple slime that I've found. But up here. Nothing. Nothing. We found a little bit up there. You know what? I can go I can go pick up that ground. Let's do that. Let's go pick up that ground. And let's put a portal up there while we're at it. 
we don't have a portal up there and there's like five five drillable things new point available in crafting i haven't added new points at all this this stream there we go in combat and running and crafting and we're good Yeah, we're gonna stick a portal all the way up there. Let's see how our makeshift slime farm has worked out to be. Is that a Firefox? <laughs> it's a cat! Yeah, that's right! That's right! Kill the slimes! Not me, the slimes! Yeah, that's right. Kill the slimes. <laughs> Not me. You slime right there. No, it's a cat and it shoots fireballs and it does burning damage. And I had the genius idea pride claw because I need I need the slimes, right? We need the slimes and we need the stuff. So, I have such a big, like, area with these guys that I put- I grabbed a whole bunch of the slime floor. And since the stuff doesn't despawn, right? I put it in here. These guys will just fight each other constantly. And I'll stop by every now and then and pick up all of the- the stuff. It'll be perfect. I'm a genius. I'm scratching my head, sir. And the big trolley things don't break the ground. So the slime ground stays there. Monoroth dead? No. I needed to spend today trying to find more drills because I have been running out of materials like the entire time. We had stacked up quite a bit of bars from our previous game that we brought over. But I hadn't found any drills here. I just found. It has taken me 2 hours and 21 minutes to find um, the Octarine drill. We searched one entire island out and there was nothing there. So I took a break and we found the different ores. And we found so many of them so quickly. Um, and then I had to go back and finally found another... We finally found an Octarine uh, ore. So we have one Octarine ore. Not so great. Oh, and I set up my galaxite ore drill as well, too. So everything we've we're drilling everything on this island now. We got one of everything. So we'll be able to actually get materials again. And now I need the purple slimes and the purple gunk to be able to spawn some more so we can make the good health potions because we need the good. We, we definitely need the good health potions for that boss. Like, no way around it. We need the good health potions. I'm an evil genius 400 IQ play. <laughs> So today has been today has been lots of prep. Lots of sorting things out and fixing things so that I can actually summon the boss, you know, 15 million times so I can actually defeat it.
And I've been having way too much fun with this hammer. He doesn't like hammering stuff. How's your day going, Fredclaw? It's Friday. I'm sure you're excited for the weekend. Do you have any fun plans? Are you guys doing anything? What is what is what? What is what? What did I do? Did you do the did you see the thing that I that I found the other day? You're a bit sick? No. Cry claw, stop that. Well then slacking is in order. that thing. The hammer? It's an octarine sledgehammer. I even, oh, I keep forgetting to swap to my mining uh, armor, which is this one. So I can do, look how much, look how much mining I have. 780 mining damage plus extra mining speed. Yeah. And, and then I can even eat the food. That would give me more mining damage as well, too. But I'm like, I'm one-shotting the walls anyway. You like it? It's a sledgehammer. <laughs> I found it. I found it on the beach. It was just lying there. Some poor soul left it, and I picked it up, and I'm starting to smack the entire world. My big worry, though, is that when we get to, like, more of the finalization of the game, like, more of the storyline and whatnot, you find out that you're, like, the bad person for, for ruining this pristine place. The core is like telling you to go and defeat all of these things and ruining the ecosystem. That's what I feel like the core is doing. Just being a jerk. The core is like, yes, go and and kill. Go murder all of these wonderful bosses so that we can take over the forest. Hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. We turn out to be the bad guy. <gasps> Azos is Lily, a floating plant that is part of a rich ecosystem in the wilderness waters. Ooh, I haven't got one of those before. Core is evil for sure. Yeah, the core is totally evil. It's it's making you do like your evil bidding. And then you're going to find out that the whole time the world is trying to protect itself from you. And all these little cavelings and stuff are like, get out of here. You're ruining our world. 
Yep. I knew that was going to happen. I accepted my fate when I walked into the five of them. But that's okay, because we have a portal up there now. I guess I could have slept in the bed up there. That would have been smart. Ah, oh, Willow. Sometimes I think. I have thought. I don't think that portal's up yet. It must. I don't think it's up. I don't think we've been up there for 20 minutes. No, portal's not ready. You know what we can do? We could farm. Let's let's give a quick farming session here. Maybe by the end of it, the portal would be... The portal will be finished. Also, did you notice that the, the bigger the ho hoe you get, the bigger the gardening? That's amazing. If only this, you could, like, load it up with certain seeds. If you could load it up with certain seeds that you wouldn't actually have to, and, like, I could use the hoe to, like, plant the seeds that are in my inventory, that would be amazing. Then you wouldn't have to do a darn thing. Farming would be so easy. I know there's an auto sprinkler. I haven't made any. I haven't made any auto sprinklers. Is evil. <laughs> Break down the wall. Go kill all the things. Exactly. Hmm. That's what that's what Shul just said. I bet you can't employ these little workers that like sell stuff to like plant. Wouldn't that be great? You can employ them to plant. Like, hey, you, why don't you sit here? Why don't, you know, you're, I'm already giving you lodging, free lodging. I buy all of your stuff. I'm like your main source of income. How about you just plant some some stuff for me? You know, just no big deal. I don't even care what it is. You can plant the most useless things and it'll still be fine. Just grab the seeds out of that chest and plop them down. Maybe we get that once. Maybe somewhere like in the game we'll get we'll get a an employable dude. What do you think? We'll get a farmer friend. Maybe one of those farmers from Azel's forest will like befriend us and be like, hey man. Let me come farm for you. Instead of you killing me and my family always.
They have really nice harvest chance. Oh man, you just reminded me that again I forgot to swap to my extra harvest chance. I'm at 56.3% for the extra harvest chance. <sighs> I forgot. Just as I finished harvesting. Man. You do that all the time? Yeah. I'm, I've been mining this entire time and I completely forgot to change to my mining set. And I've been forgetting my mining uh, food as well. Where's my mining? There we go. My crunchy bars. But, has it been 20 minutes now? Did we, did we kill enough time? Can we use the portal? Portal's not ready. Okay, I guess we're walking back. I feel like I always end up doing, like, a bunch of stuff. Like, we fight, we gather, we mine, we do this, we pick up stuff, we do that. That swapping um, armors all the time. Like, I'm, I'd am i be in my harvesting armor, trying to fight the trolls, forgetting that I'm in my far harvesting armor. I need to put some more of this blue stuff down so they start respawning more. Kind of killed a whole bunch of them. It happens. I swear all these little cablings need a tissue or something because all they keep doing is going <laughs> at me. Did you set a hotkey? Yes, I did. See? Boop, boop, boop. I just found out yesterday that I could do that. Um, well, I said it on stream on Wednesday because someone came in and was like, I was trying to fight something, but I had the wrong armor on. And I really wanted to swap armor, but I couldn't stop moving or else it would have caught up with me. And I'm like, man, that would be really nice. And someone was like, yeah, we should be able to swap. And then I went into my keybinds and I'm like, you know what? We can. We just haven't done it. You have to set up the keybinds. All these sneaky little things. That's another one for under your hat there, CJ. Casey. I forget. It's two letters and I already forgot. We have spent all stream trying to find all of the drillables, trying to make sure that we have materials um, being processed so that I could summon that boss over and over again without worrying about losing out on my drillables. We finally found the octarine bar. That was the hard one, was the octarine bar. I swear I have a bug on me somewhere. I swear I have a bug on me. During my stream this afternoon, I had spent the morning out with uh, Shoal. We were having coffee and breakfast outside and just chilling in, in the sunshine. And I come inside and I'm streaming and then all of a sudden there was a tickling and I look down and there's an ant crawling all over me. On you little hunters. So my question is, if there's a throne room in the stone biome, is there a throne room for every biome? And again, I didn't swap. There we go. There we go. 
No, but there are secondary optional bosses. Ooh. Secondary optional bosses. <gasps> We're in the desert again. I can feel it. Still feel like the core is evil. We're gonna find out that the core has made us like destroy this perfect paradise. All right, what can I get rid of? I don't need those. I'm gonna eat these. I don't need a toilet from the cavelings. this. I have 82. That's better. Look at this go. Look at this go. I'm two-shotting desert walls. Yeah. All right, damn it, woman. <laughs> I thought maybe you would use that one a lot. Have you seen Parks and Rec, uh, Kara? We got. Ooh, what do we got here? Blue glass shard. You haven't seen Parks and Rec? It is a it is a good TV show. If you want a TV show. Oh, oh, I think I found another galaxite ore. I see it. Yes, I did. Oh, boy. Okay, these ones are so easy to see because on the minimap, they're white. And you're in like a yellow area, like a pinkish area, and it's white on the minimap. So you can just see the ore. Love it. I can have Galaxite until the end of days. Oh, I found a bomb. Oh, I d nope, I found a copper. Okay. I thought that was a bomb. <laughs> Easy. Boop, boop. You don't watch TV? Well, it's not on TV. Are you telling me you don't watch a series on Netflix or anything like that? Makes me feel like I lose brain cells. You play League. Oh, I found another one! Ba -ba -ba. I don't have many to begin with. <laughs> Maybe you should stop playing League. You have? <laughs> the damage is done. You haven't played ranked in like two years. Didn't we play a ranked like once or twice? Or did we just play normals? Oh, I see you. Oh, slice and dicing. Not today. That's right. Not today. Get 
get into the bar. Then I only two shot the walls. I played with Tom. I thought we played a rank. I'm just like hacking through the desert here. Oh my gosh, we found another one. Oh my heavens. I struggled to find um, the the octo ore, but you know, I found this ore like easily. another one another one how <gasps> we found something special hello hello fancy floor <gasps> I need a piano I need a piano Found a musical room. Musical room in the desert. Oh my gosh, I almost missed it. Look how close I am to where I was digging before. That ore is like my ex, so easy to find her just look in the closet closest bed. Carol, I have been waiting for you. I did not forget about the puppy treat. I just wanted to make sure that you were here for the puppy treat. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay, we don't need any dirt walls. We'll bring at these temper pillar temp temple pillars home. We'll mark this spot on the map. Oh, I wonder what that is. And we'll make our way home so we can bring back a piano. Oh my gosh, the hiccups. You're here in body, but brain is half off. That is just fine. I only need half a brain. We're hammering walls. Don't need any brains for that. Oh, this is all my stuff. All my stuff is still here because I didn't have enough room. Whoops. Well, I definitely don't need my gravestone reminding me how many times I've died. Um, oh, okay, and then we're just... It's just the uh, balloon spore. That's the petal ring, the extra harvest chance. Such a handy thing to have. Doodly 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 not this way. Not this way. Oh, this is a maze. I should just dig straight down to where I need to go. We should definitely be at 20 minutes now. Our portal should be up. Hot diggity dog.
You may fall asleep. You should fall asleep. Sir, it's late for you. Definitely late. Okay, big buddies. Yeah. This is from Carol. Ugh, there you go. I know the camera's off to the side. I need to change it. <clears throat> Fine. You go. Who's that puppy dog in the window? I've thought of that before. I've thought about that. I'm like, man, I should get cameras and stick it on their collars. Because you know how they have those cat, uh, those, like, they have, there's people out there who put it on their cats and then let their cats go free and then see where the cats get up to and stuff like that. I think that would be hilarious. Not necessarily on the dogs, because the dogs lead a pretty casual, boring life. But, um, on the cats? Let it go free. Let the cats go free. Or on the chickens. Let the chickens wander around <laughs> with cameras around them. That would be hilarious to see the world from a chicken point of view. That would be great. Chicken cam, exactly, chicken cam. I've seen the ones for cats specifically. But but I think one for um Loaf to damage against bosses, hey. Yeah. Um Hi. Pretty good snack. Do a different can of chicken each month. <laughs> I've seen them on cats mostly, but yeah. I was thinking about that too myself. I was like, if only I could stick something on them. Boop boop. Hi, what's going on? That was your snack, that's what you got. Why are you asking me for more? Mm hmm? Why are you asking me for more? Because you can! Okay, can't really argue with that. Can't really argue with that. Organize. Oh, we did have some of those in there. Okay. Stone fence. We have stone fences, which means we can fence in this mushrooms... <coughs> And then the mushrooms won't... I'm going to attack me every single time. Oh, that's great. I'm not going to completely go around it, but at least I'll stay safe from the mushrooms when I'm farming. Oop. That was handy. Because they know mom will give them some more treats if they ask nicely with the big... Li uh, yes. 100%. I was already tempted, dude. <laughs> Already tempted. <laughs> she came over and she put her face on me. She's like, hi. I'm still hungry. Okay, let's go put some of this purple slime down still. She's not hungry though. She still has lunch in her in her or dinner in her in her bowl. Joel ate all of his. He's been a good eater lately. I don't know what it is, but he's really enjoyed his dinner. So he's actually been finishing it rather than grazing and she's just been grazing barely grazing 
hello. Ah, one spawned already. That's right. Fight! Fight! Like my own fighting ring over here. I'd be trying to make words with slime pa <laughs> You're 800 points away from a from the next treat. Holder is now sitting next to Kryn, trying to mentally tell him, Hey, hey. Pay attention to me. Pay attention to me. I'm here. Right here. Oh, no. She laid down next to me. Ooh. So over here. I saw some lights. Nothing special. Oh, well, this is a little area that we found before that's basically like Azoth's forest, but not in Azoth's. This is next to our base. It was so weird. bit of Azos forest right here. Very silly. I need to expand my, my gardening. That's where I can do it. Mushrooms. More walls. More of everything. More, more goobly gook. More thingamabobs. That goes in there too. I pop a dog. More chests. Okay. I think we found everything we really needed to find this time. We've started harvesting and growing everything else that we need to find. We... We... Because that purple stuff is necessary for those big potions. And those big potions are super duper important. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay. And then we got... We got something else that I wanted to look at. Oh, right. The broken handle. We've gotten one piece of that thing. But there was also something else. Was it in my music? It in somewhere. I put it in somewhere silly. Not that. No. Put 
put it in a silly chest because I thought I'd see it again. My rings, because my rings are full. <laughs> that one. Oh, oh, my food, right, my food, because I'm going in my food all the time. This guy, this empty crystal, a shutdown protocol, an anomaly report, and an overwrite transcript. The blue grass shard is none of those. Got it. Okay, blue grass shard, you're just gonna be sold. Just straight up money for me. Okay. We have this really ginormous base that looks amazing. And I'd really love to explore it. We have a portal over here. Instead of going with the boat as well, I could... We could just go through here. I could, I could, I could just build a floor, right? I could just build a floor. That's not a problem. We'll just build a giant bridge. I could build another portal. But if we die within 20 minutes, then it's uh, annoying, to say the least. So let's build a giant bridge. Okay, we're going to build a giant bridge. And we're going to go across the giant bridge and explore that place. Um... Think we can get in it here if not i think we can get in it there and oh you know what else we should do we should bring a bed i don't have a bed down there we have some health potions with us always handy dandy And yes, I know that it's 12.04, but we're having a good stream. We're crafting, we're moving, we're doing this, we're doing that. We found all our good stuff, and now I want to do something fun. And maybe explore that really big dungeon. There we go. Oh, man. Man alive. I find the dungeons super cool. I think they are the neatest thing. We've did that before. Oh, the music. Oh, I forgot. The music thing. Over in the Scarlet area. That's what we were doing, too. Okay, we are going to go. Yeah, we're going straight across from here. Boop, boop, beep, doop. Just a tidbit of knowledge. The longest bridge in the world, the Danyang Kumshan Grand Bridge, is officially the longest bridge in the world. It stretches out for no less than 102 miles and forms part of one of China's most important railway connections, the high-speed train between Beijing and Shanghai. That's pretty cool. I think we can get in. I think I was right. Yeah, we can get in right here. Was really loud, buddy. You doing okay? We're going on a trip. Oh my gosh, the <gasps> a 
caveling ID. We got 10% chance dodge chance can be equipped in the offhand. A sturdy card that once belonged to a citizen of the forlorn metropolis. It's thousands of years old, but the excellent print hasn't faded. That's hilarious. <laughs> We're just yoinking one of their ID cards. <laughs> That's awesome. You finally found some tin in a clave cave. Woo, tin! Hi, yeah. Mamse. You're not really helping my situation right here. Are you are you stuck, sir? Ma'am, ma'am, you're on my arm. Hi, yeah. I'm glad you finally found some tin. Always nice to be able to progress properly. I see you. No hiding behind the bookshelves. Hi, puppy. What's going on? Only for 30 seconds that melee damage. Really? Oh, no healing. Who said you were allowed to heal? No healing. I also wondered if you brought the electric drill over here, you could drill through these walls. Because I can't break them down right now. But sometimes it's just so much easier to try and get to the place where you need to go by using a drill. So, I was thinking about, you know, you made one of those electric drills to drill down the walls. If it will work on this too. Music is epic in here. Burr, 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 burr. It's so it's so like adventury. Oh, oh, <gasps> we got the staff, and that just like cut me a shortcut. <laughs> we finally got the arcane staff. Oh, I want to see how much damage this does. Arcane staff. Okay, compared to. The Firebolt. The Fireball Staff does 172. The Scholar Staff does up to 2602. Same amount of attacks per damage. Okay, so no burn. Secondary... <laughs> Multi-shot! Bam! Boop, 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 boop. Awesome. Awesome! Multi-shot! Heck yeah! Yeah, you know what? I can do that back! I can do that right back! <laughs> Amazing. Finally, I've killed so many of these. <laughs> Maybe that'll help with Omaroth. Well, the damage ba very much will. Ow, ow, hold it
Give me the snake. Want another snake? Snake. And what's going on here? Watch my back, guys. There you go. I like little liver chewy things. Ugh. Slightly stinky, but they're enjoying it. Okay, that is beach, so we don't need to go in there. We've got green stuff over here. Oop! Rude. Oh, we also could have gotten in this way. From the beach. Awesome. Okay. This dungeon is so big. Oh no! Oh no, there's three of them. Oh no. It's a good thing I have multi shot, right? Moving my arm doesn't really help me, puppy dog. You kind of make it slightly more difficult. Don't heal him! I'm trying to murder him. No, hold it up. Stop! Thank you. You listened. Thank you. Ooh, the scholar's hood. Oh, I thought there was someone down here. Oh, I bypassed him. Hi, puppy. It's almost like they know that I'm supposed to have start my stream 50 minutes ago because they're they're bugging me now. Hi! Hey, what's going on? You, you're doing okay. Maybe the snakey snake. You still have food in your dish. You still have water too. You went out like an hour ago. You're, you're just you're just fine. I promise. Oh, this is totally gonna make a difference when I'm trying to kill Omaroth. I love that this goes through their walls. <laughs> oh, it's never perfect, but you know, <laughs> it goes through their walls. Rude. It's extra damage, though. It's extra damage. And being able to multi shot, maybe I'll actually kill, be able to, maybe I'll actually be able to kill some of the. Uh, I ate both of those. I walked into both of them. What are the odds? No heals. Gosh darn. I wonder if you play with a friend that you guys can heal each other. Wouldn't that be awesome? No healing. Oh, I walked into it again. Oh, darn. Maybe today's a good day that I'm not trying to kill any of the bosses. Oh, that's. I think that's an area I've not seen before. Oh, look at this little garden! Oh, my heavens. Ow. Ow. Look at this little garden. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. That, look at this, look at this steal these guys because I don't know if I have them or not. Oh, there's so much stuff to smash. Smash, smash. Oh, I found some octarine. Hello. Yes, thank you.
place is a maze. There's a pool here. That goes outside, so I don't need to go there. But there might be another chest this way. No, I've been here before already. Okay. Okay, hello! Hello, Zenith Dragon. If playing co-op, going through the full right side of the food tree at the end, if you max that skill out, you and any nearby allies heal every second. Ah, that's pretty cool. I don't know if that's worth it. I was kind of just hoping that if, like, two of you were using this arcane staff that you can heal each other like these guys do. That'd be fun. Because I know there's an offhand right now that you could Broth. also use. Broth! Thanks for following. I know there's an offhand that you could use as well. That gives you a little bit of HP regen every second. Too many of you. There's too many of you. Whoop. Oh gosh. And there's throwy things. Oh my gosh, no, I might die here. Ooh, no. We're good. Nope, no heals. No heals. Get rid of you before I move on. Okay. You can get a healing follower. Hat looks like a scholar. If you have the Phantom Spark Bow. I have no idea what that is, my dude. You can summon them. A healing follower. That's pretty cool. I did not know that. I think I got the Scholar Hood, but I didn't put it on because, you know. Oh my god! Good job, kitty cat. Good job. That was spicy. There was nothing in here either. It was spicy for nothing. Okay. Do you know what the rune song sword is? Nope. Also, do you play co-op? Nope. All these questions. <laughs> nope, buddy, nope, nope, nope. I like saying no. <laughs> oh, Kara. <laughs> you came in at the perfect time. Oh, that was good. No, not playing co-op. This is my first playthrough. I'm still learning things about the game. Um, oh, I missed a spot in there. This one was massive. Oh, and I missed a spot in there, too. Yeah. All right, damn it, woman. <laughs> <laughs> missed a spot. Okay, I gotta go back. I, I've, I'm, I've made it this far. We have to go back. Um, no, this is my first time playing. Um, I haven't really looked up any spoilers. Like, I don't I don't know the storyline. I don't know what's going to happen. My thought is that the core is evil and it's making us kill all the good things in this world. And all these dudes are trying to protect it. And they're like, how dare you? And and then you're going to find out that we're, you know, we're, we're just destroying this pristine oasis of, of uh, this, this not oasis. Um, what's the word? Utopia. We're, we're ruining this beautiful utopia world. Gosh, there's more. You've respawned already? Oh, that's that's an area I haven't been to. No, that's the area I haven't been to. Go around. I think I can get there if I go around.
went this way. Go this way. Go around here. All these chairs in the way. Uh, the Rune Sword is the best sword in the game. It doesn't lose durability. Heck yeah, same with the Phantom Spark Bow. Best bow in the game doesn't lose durability. And the Soul Seeker Pickaxe. Oh, that's pretty cool. These are words that I've not heard before, so... I don't even know what I would make them from or get them from or anything like that. Boom, boom, boom. But yeah, I'm... I think that the core is evil. It summoned us here to do its evil bidding. And we're destroying this beautiful utopia. And the core isn't going to let us go home until we finish doing what it wants us to do. And that's destroy this world. Sounds like Thor is making noise outside. Might have to bring another storm. Oh, nice. I thought I was storming earlier too, Carol. How did you respawn? Oh, of course. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna hide. Yeah, you get them, kitty cat. Spawn so quickly. Man. Nice. <laughs> I got a new way in. <laughs> Only that will happen more. Would happen more. Oh, oh! he could get me. Bastard. Oh no, I might die now. <gasps> get him, kitty cat. Get him. Burn him. Burn, baby, burn. That looks like it's still inside, but also outside, so... I think that's just like another way in. I think we finally explored everywhere around here. I think that was it. That looks like all of the spots. This little garden was adorable. Alright, back home we go! Okay. It was about 11am when you went to bed, and now it is 5.30. Six hours ago? Ooh, now you're making me tired. Can we go that way? No. Do, 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 do. I'm so glad we finally got one of these staffs. It took us so long. More dudes. I think we were able to get out this way, right? Yes. Hello, Miss Krabs. Go away. Oh, I didn't mean to put that down. Oh, that was my last health potion. That's why that went there. I was wondering. Alright, let's be a little colorful. Let's be a little careful then, because I don't have any more health potions. Not anger. Any tentacles. Oh! What did I just say? Awesome. Cool. So productive today. We found all the drillables that we needed. We started a small little farm for the slimes in the caveling area. Rude. Oh, you know what? We never put down our bed. Man. I always think of these things. I'm like, I'm trying to be smart. And then at the same time, completely forgetting. Important key aspects.
Of course, I'm not going to be able to sleep because there's enemies nearby. Yeah, mm-hmm. Always enemies nearby. Right, that tentacle up there, yeah. Okay, can we now? There we go. Not that it really matters because we are going home, but just wanted to check. Okay. Oh, so much done. So much explored. Did we find any new cool? We found the cabling ID. <laughs> a small hollow board. We found a screen device. I don't think and those oh the scholar's hood a strange hood made from white linen and gold in its shade you feel more intelligent than usual oh this gives me more damage against bosses ooh but this is like so much more armor and health which i think i have extra damage stacked up against bosses with my offhands and stuff like that. So I don't think I... Scholar's Cloak. Yeah, the two set is 24 damage against bosses. The cloak and the helmet. So I could still wear this pants. So I get range, attack speed, some armor, and a little bit more extra health. But... Mm. Where, where does it say that it summons a dude that will heal you? I don't see that. You should play They Are Billions. It's a very similar game to this. I, th I feel like I've heard of that game. I feel like I've heard of that. I might have shielded it before. I have no idea what that means. I might have shielded it before. Yeah, but it means an accomplice of a confidence trickster or swindler who poses as a genuine customer to entice or to encourage others. So you swindled someone. I think I think you mean swindle, not shill. Act or work as a shill. The con person who tries to convince other people to buy something. I think that was a swindler. Trying to trick you into playing this game. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately for you, I am super cheap. So I don't just go out and buy games. Sorry. <laughs> I am the cheapest person that you will find. So unfortunately, that does not work for me. Okay, let's put these chess pieces in here. Um, this cabling ID. That's hilarious. Gives you some dodge chance, this cabling ID. Oh, funny. Alright, then we can feed our pet. Come here, kitty cat. That was a weird meow, but we'll take it. Oh, we got some good HP potions. We're going to keep those for the boss. Because a little bit extra goes a long way. We got money coming out the wazoo, we got food, we got bombs, we have another ring, we have a couple decorations. I don't need that. And our armor's taking a little bit of a beating. Hi, Wolfsa. Those are ho. We're using it a lot. Goodbye. Firestaff, you have served me well. You will always be remembered. We will put you in a... 
an ancient chest. And we will remember you. With the scholar. As a reminder. Of what I replaced you with. There's my bombs. Too bad I can't just blow Omaroth up with my bombs. That would be so nice. You... Is there automation here? Yes, Leo Far, there's automation. <laughs> Take a mortgage, is worth it? No. Uh, I bought this game when it was 50% off because that's how cheap I am. Do 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 do. Blue. Mm -mm, mushrooms. Why, thank you. I never said there was any shame in it. I'm telling you that that's how cheap I was. I wasn't willing to spend 15 bucks in this game. I spent eight. Um, you have a Firefox now? Yes, I just got it at the beginning of the stream. Uh, I saw that you can buy an egg from the dude, so I grabbed it. Which one do I get this time? Uh, oh, brown puppy dog, look at you. Look how cute you are. Hold it, I stop. That hurts. We've gone over this. Damage against bosses. Chance to stun targets. Longer stun. 7% chance on hit to deal triple the amount of damage. That's way better than the bird. 15, 30, 45%. I have three on this guy as well. Three or two? Two. So I only have 30% chance on this guy. Oh my god. Okay, this dog is better than this cat. Man. But I think the cat will actually assist me in killing Omaroth, whereas the dog doesn't do diddly squat. The good, it's a good dog. The dog is better than this bird. And the dog is better than the cat. But the cat will help me against Omaroth and the other guys won't. You and... Thank you, Holdra. That was very helpful. You beat Gorm a few days ago. Not sure what to do next. Um. Well, you beat Gorm. Have you beat the other two? That's not cheap, it's frugal. Sure. Just saying, there's, I'm not ashamed. I'm just telling you, I am cheap. I will not buy a game just because someone says, hey, you should buy this game. How's it going, Leo Farm? How's your day been? Copy down. You beat Gorm a few days ago, not sure what to do next. You want to kill the other ones. That's what you want to do. If you don't know where they are and you don't want to find them, each of them has their own little... Um... Um... Where am I? Location. <laughs> Handy dandy. Okay. I only have the hive mother left. Excellent. Give, give... Well, you gotta kill her. And then I'll give you a tip. Talk to this thing a couple times. He will always give you really vague hints about what to do next. Where it's like she knows that I'm like late on my stream and she's like, get off the computer. Stop talking to yourself. All right, we've done some great stuff today. Let's go check our slime situation before we head off for the night. I did not expect you to buy the game. It was a joke. You can... Okay. <laughs> you sent me like five messages saying you should you should buy it. Trust me. Trust me. I'm not trying to swindle you. Yes, talk to the core. The core is the root of all evil. 
He will tell you what to do next. Yeah, that's right. Kill him. Kill him. Kill them all. I think the slimes have been overwhelming my little dudes. Look at this. There's more there's more stuff from the little dudes here than there was from the from the slimes. That's right. Shoot him. Yeah. I'm trying not to kill- I want to kill them all. I'm trying not to kill them because I kind of need them to kill the slimes. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't- that wasn't a whole heck of a lot. That was three. We got three slimes. I think we're just gonna have to leave that for a much longer time. I mean, we could- we could also plant mushrooms down there. That would be fun, watching the mushrooms try and... Watching the mushrooms try and uh, attack people as well, too. That'd be hilarious. That'll just be the biggest, like, infight ever. Cavelings versus blue slimes versus purple slimes versus mushrooms versus trolls. Oh, right. Okay. One more thing before we go off. One more thing before we go off. I want to see. We we forgot to do that music one. The music thing that I found. I gotta remember if we can... I gotta find it. I gotta find it. But there was that one music that we... We bypassed. You can plant mushrooms? Yes. There's an agricultural component to this game. I thought you only drilled for resources and gathered stuff. Um. Yeah. Ev everything spawns from something in the ground. So, if you plant the stuff that you get the mush- Like, you see the mushrooms growing on this stuff. If you plant it on the ground, it grows mushrooms. If you plant the slime gunk on the ground, then you grow slimes. If you want cavelings to spawn in a certain area, then you pick up the the like the blue, the blue mossy stuff. Where's my floor stuff? This. These grow tiny berries that attract cavelings of the corresponding area. So these ones will grow, like the ones from Azos Forest. This one will grow cavelings. This one will grow. Mushrooms are for food. If you get the blue mushrooms, the big ones, um, it is a... I, I don't have any to show you. Uh, the blue mushrooms are special. Like, they're a uh, tier up. Like, see how the mushroom... The regular mushroom is brown bordered, but the bomb peppers are green bordered. And then, of course, this white coralotl is blue bordered. You can make better food every time. And the the big mushrooms are blue. I don't have any. So you can make better food with them. That's essentially what it is. You always want to make better food. The bestest of foods. Yeah, the giant mushrooms. Those ones. Yes, the rebob. We found a music room. Chopped it out a little bit in this. Big question. Find it. Was it in the desert? Pretty sure it was in. It was. It was where we found all of those things. And here, that's where it was. Giant mushrooms. Mm -mm. Just in case we die. And up and over. We gotta go to the racetrack and we gotta go over. Has everyone found a car? I did not find a car in my first run. I was very upset. 
And then I raided someone who had a racetrack right next to their base where they loaded in. <laughs> what are the odds? But I finally found a racetrack in this world. I'll just pick you up since we're we're passing by. We go up to the racetrack? No, we go over here. Do, do, do. Is the car usable only on the racetrack? No, it's usable everywhere. It is literally a car to drive around with. It's a bit slippery. It is a bit slippery to drive, but if you're used to playing Mario Kart on the ice fields, then you're good to go. Please don't run into any desert mobs. They're scary. No idea what's in there. Could be something bad, could be something good. Let's see. N? No. M? No. Oh! That one. Then... Is it like driving on the sidewalks in New York City? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I've never been there. Your guess is as good as mine. Nope. Nope. Lower. Z? There we go. B? Oh, good. The cat is in the way. Uh, kitty cat? Thank you. It's kind of difficult to see. V? No. B. Dead. B. No. Ah! It's a trap. Desert trap. A stone to Rude. But there's two chests in here. Oh, okay, so we got octarine bars. We got keen potions for extra range damage and some wood. And okay, that was it. The golden chests themselves were probably the coolest thing out of that entire place. <laughs> what are those noises? <laughs> it's a piano. <laughs> if you use a Glorm scanner now, will it continue showing it on your map until you kill him? Yes. Yes, it will. Do you see how I have... I don't know. If you see how I have a circle on, on my map? It will stay there. It will stay there on your minimap. And it will show it to you all the time. I have a dead body somewhere. Where's my dead body? Who died here? I have a dead body that I haven't picked up, apparently. Is it at Gorm? Yeah, it's at Gorm. <laughs> I, whoops. Yes, if you use the Gorm scanner, it will stay there. You can scan all the bosses and just have them on your minimap. If you have all the materials and want to do it. Stay there until you kill it. And there's a way to summon them again afterwards so that you could farm the bosses as well, too. Because, um, don't assume that what you get is the best thing that you can get. You can get drops, like the feather offhand. You can get better feather offhands. Just like the pets have different, um, skills that they can come with. So, you know, you open up five different dogs and they might all have different skills that you could get. Same thing with um, some of the items that you get from bosses. There's a varying range of rewards that you can get for them, and sometimes it's better to just farm it a little bit so that you can get the best one. Don't shoot at me! I'm trying to get home. And I'm kind of lost without looking at my minimap. Oh, go away. 
plant. This way. Going in the right direction. The map looks disconnected from your earlier res. Is this new area behind some teleporter? Did you start a new game or maybe I'm just blind? Uh, okay, so what happened was I played the game before the update came out and then the update came out and it said that it was compatible with your old saves. And it was. But the parts that you explored are like earmarked for not spawning the new areas and the new stuff. So you would have to explore even further out to be able to get all the new things. And I didn't want to do that. Um, I played for three hours and didn't see any of the new content whatsoever. So we, after playing that day, we decided, oh, hello, bed. After playing that day, I decided that I was going to, I put it down backwards. Can't sleep when enemies are nearby. Wait, is he still? I think he's still up. Is the boss still up? Oh my gosh. I think he might actually be up still. I'm gonna... I'm gonna run away. We'll do that on Monday. Um, what we did was, since you can move all of your stuff, like you can take your character to different maps, we just moved all of my stuff from the first map to my second map, and we immediately found all the cool new stuff. I immediately found music boxes, and um, we found the new area, like, right next to my base. We found uh, one of the sing -y little rooms, like, right here. It was 100% worth moving to a new map and not playing on your old map. Even though it's compatible, yeah, it, it wasn't worth it. And the fact that you can move your stuff over... That's what we did. This is awesome. This stone turret. This ancient trap shoots projectiles at anyone walking into line of sight. Its inner workings are connected by a caveling grimace. Chance to apply poison. Ooh, handy. So yeah, we we started a new game and then just moved all of my materials over, stuck everything into like randomized chests and stuff. You can't respawn your dudes. Like your little your little men here. But it took three hours. It took three hours of moving everything into the new map. It took about 45 minutes. Because, you know, you had to clear out the area and stuff like that. It took about 45 minutes to bring all my stuff over from my old map to my new map. And then it took another two and a half hours. Like in a three hour stream, I killed all three bosses. I set up a few drills. We respawned all of our dudes. We organized everything. It, basically in about three hours, three and a half hours, we... We were at the same point that we were at before. So it was 100% worth. So even though it was compatible, it... Yeah. It wasn't the best. It wasn't the best at all. Yeah, it was compatible, but I think there was a buffer between, like, when you've when you've explored an area like this, I think there's a buffer between when the new area could spawn. So if I've had to explore even further out just to find the new areas and the new stuff, like, there's bombs and walls, there's new rooms, there's new everything, there's there's a lot of really cool new stuff. Um, I didn't want to do that. And Pridecloud was telling me as well, too, that some of the advancements that you make is actually locked behind because uh, they change it. They change the recipe for some things just slightly. Um, so some of the recipes are actually locked behind the fur of one of the new animals. And after playing for three hours, I did not find a single new location of of like the with the with the ram and the cow. And I need the ram for the fur to be able to go further. And I was like, you know what? Instead of making this more painful than it needed to be. I just decided to, um, just decided to move to a new map, and I don't regret it. It was the best decision. I mean, we got one, we got the dog right before we left the map, um, 
after three hours of looking, and the instant we came to this map, we found like three more of these bird eggs and one more dog egg. So, no regrets. It was the best. Is do you have a thunderstorm on? Not good. And you're very welcome. It just shook the apartment. Oh boy. That is quite the storm. Awesome. Well, um, that's it for my evening. Uh, we did Oxygen Not Include this afternoon. Got a lot of done there as well, too. I feel like I've had like a couple really good productive days with Oxygen Not Included. Core Keeper, we finally set up everything so that we got, we got materials coming in. We found so many uh, Galactic Ore. That was insane. And I think the boss is still alive. And we got to explore that huge dungeon. That was really cool. I think the boss is still alive. So I think on Monday, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, hopefully, some more potions. And go see if I can finish killing off that octopus. And make him into the barbecue that I want to make him into. So, thank you so much for joining me. Hello to all you new people. I do I do Core Keeper Monday, Wednesday, Friday evening. So three times three times a week at night we play Core Keeper. I don't play it off stream either. So um, if you want to follow along, I'm not going to kill any bosses off stream or anything like that. You'll be able to see it. Um, and I do Oxygen Not Included um, during the day four times a week as well too. So ah, toss me a follow. Let's go raid Naki because he's Bruh. online. Bruh! Thanks for following, Mr. Mycelium. I thought you followed the other day, but it's good to see you again. Um, let's go raid um, um, Naki. He's also playing uh, Core Keeper. Uh, he, apparently I'm spelling it wrong. There we go. He's also playing Core Keeper. So let's go say hi to him. And I will see you guys. <laughs> good night, Kara. Good night, Zesturtle. I will see you guys Monday. You guys have a lovely weekend. Night, Meister Mycelium.